Welcome to St. Jude's Gym. Uh, my name is Jung. I'm going to give you a quick induction about the gym, how to work, all the process that you have to do to sign for the gym, how to work with the machines, and anything else related to the gym. Even though that the gym is cleaned three times a day, make sure that you use our cleaning stations here to wipe down any piece of equipment that you use once you finish, okay, for the following members. Before we get started, make sure that you have 5 to 10 minutes warm up, okay? You can either, either do body weight exercises or use the cardio equipment. With this, basically, you want to get your heart rate up, get the muscles flowing, okay? Get the joints nice and warm, mainly over the winter, before you actually get any injury. For you to use the gym, you have to book it online, okay? Make sure that you collect the keys in the lodge. Okay, use the gym and once you finish, just bring back the keys. So, once you come in for the gym, make sure you come with comfortable clothes, comfortable shoes, make sure that they are actually clean, and make sure that you get that warm up done. Just body weight exercises, or easily use some of the cardio pieces of equipment that we've got on the gym. Great, so we got the treadmill here. Make sure uh, that you use the safety pin every time that you use it, okay? Just attach it to your shirt, okay, this will allow you to just pull the rope by any chance of emergency or even if you want to stop, the carpet to stop straight ahead, okay. You can use the quick start button and pick any of these programs available in here or use the hours to adjust as you wish, okay. If you're not familiar with the machine, make sure you go from the beginning and build up that uh, Confidence with the machine. We got our upright bike, okay, very straightforward. You can adjust the seat level. All you have to do just pull this pin out, slide down or up, adjusting as you wish, okay, usually by the hip level, so you actually can get the extent, full extension on your leg, okay. It's a power machine, so you have to cycle a little bit so eventually the screen comes up and then in here you can do exactly the same as the treadmill do the quick start or pick any of the programs available we've got the rowing machine here okay very straightforward the only adjustments you have to do is actually here on your feet so you can adjust here the size for your shoe or your feet let's put it that way and then just attach it with the belt get it as tight as you can okay once you got both in, grab the handle and start rowing, okay? Once you do a few pulls, then the screen will come up. You can pick the program that you are willing to do. And also, on the side, you can adjust how heavy would you like this pull to be. We've got a few free weights around, guys. Uh, make sure you both pop the exercises. Also, once you finish with them, make sure you put them away so they're not all over the place. And also, make sure that you wipe them down, there's cleaning equipment around so the next person can actually use it safely too. Great, so we got the leg press here. Uh, very straightforward, a way to use, uh, very similar to a squat, okay? If you're not familiar with it, there's some instructions in here. Make sure that you read them and adjust everything before you actually get started. Okay? On this one, you can adjust the weight, so you just take the pin out. If you're not comfortable with this machine, make sure that you go in a low weight first. Get it to work. If it's too light, then get it to be heavier. Okay? And another adjustment that we can do is just the seat, similar to a car adjustment. Okay? Press the handle down, go forward. I'll go back depending of how big we are. Let's put it that way. So the way to work with this machine, sit down, we're gonna get those heels and toes right on that platform in front of us. You're gonna keep both of them down, okay? Make sure your lower back is against the pad so if you feel that you're being squished, adjust the seat backwards a little bit, okay? And from here, grab the handles, Press it nice and controlled, the nice extension on the leg, nice and controlled down. And again, once you finish, make sure you control the weight in order not to smash against the other. We got the cross trainer here, okay? Uh, air, very similar to the treadmill. The only difference is uh, you actually have to work out a little bit more uh, so the screen actually comes up. 
Okay, just be aware and get yourself, get in your head that uh, you are holding to the machine before you actually stand up. Okay, because once you put your feet down, you know, make sure two hands first, get your feet on the machine, grab the handles from here, let's do the movement. There we go, and the screen comes up. And again, in here, we can go on a quick start, just like we do on the treadmill, or you can actually pick any of the programs available. Again, on the way out, just make sure that you're still holding yourself to the machine, make sure it actually stops, and just be careful on the way out. Exactly the same as we did before on the leg press. Press the lever down and the seat can go forward or back, okay? Again, this one you won't be using it that much as like for example the seat one. But if you need any help, everything is explained in here. And if you need any further help than this, just look for someone that can actually give you this help. Similar to a bench press with a barbell, you've probably seen on free weights. Hands on the top of the handles, just like this, chest up, so exactly by the chest level, and from here, you just gotta press forward. Nice and controlled again, on the way down, slow, you don't have to speed it up, okay? Slower you do, better it's actually the activation of the muscle, okay? Another type of handles in here that we can do is a parallel grip, okay? Hands over here, just to you don't have to do anything else, it's just the hands and you're basically just gonna press it. Okay, and again, nice and controlled down, keep the chest up and down. We got the shoulder press here, again, we have two adjustments possible. First one being the weight, okay, so like we did before on the chest press, take the pin out and adjust for the waist weight. Again, if you're not familiar with this, Start from the low weight and then start increasing. Um, another one we can do is the seat, okay? Just pulling it up or down. This will change depending on how tall we are, okay? So once you sit down, you want to have these handles as close as possible to the shoulders, okay? Again, if you don't know how to use it, there's uh, some instructions in here. Make sure that you reach and follow all the adjustments. Right, so once you sit down, that's when you need to know exactly if uh, you need to do any adjustment. So the handles will be basically by your shoulder level, okay, just slightly above. Okay, from here, you can just make sure that you're comfortable, back against the pads, hands on the handles, and nice and controlled, just raise it up. Full extension of those arms, all the way down, nice and controlled, okay, up, and down. On this one, again, you can do a parallel press. So, using the handles, just the parallel ones this time, exactly the same. Chest up, arm press, down, back up. You good? Pull down machine. Uh, currently, now that I'm, we're doing these recording, recordings, uh, it's missing one of the handles. I'll show you how to work with it with just a single side and hopefully when you get to use it, it will be here, okay? Again, in here, you can do two adjustments, okay? So, the seat level, pressing again, lever, and you can adjust up and down. This adjustment is basically because you want to get your knees against these pads, okay? So, once you sit down, if your knees are not up there, you can always bring the seat a bit more, okay? This will help you pushing you down while you're actually using the machine and pulling down, okay? And then the second one is our weights. Again, if you're not familiar, make sure that you do start from low and then keep increasing the weight. Again, we have our instructions over there where you can read everything related to the use of this machine if you have any questions. From here, I'll do the movement with only one side, okay? You should have another handle on this side and keep the chest up nice and straight and you're just gonna pull it out. Do at the same time, nice and controlled up and down. 
okay? Because using these handles, you can either do reverse grip or just a normal pull down, okay? Hopefully with the two handles, you can actually get this movement flowing a bit better and Please be aware, um, there's a phone in every room, okay, in case if anyone has an emergency or gets injured, uh, there's a phone number where you can ring uh, and um, help will be on the way. Um, even if you see any piece of equipment broken, please make sure that you report it uh, once you deliver back the keys in the lodge. Towards the end, please be aware and make sure that you save five minutes uh, for you to do the stretching. So you can do body weight stretchings or actually the cool down on the cardio equipment. This is basically to get your heart rate down, calm down the muscles after like the heavy press, so you to be safe.